Hey guys, RC here, back with another episode. We are in the Netherlands, up the orange with the Groff Shop. You may remember a couple of episodes back, I mentioned that episode 8 got scrapped, some corruption issues. So now that we're up to the off-season transfer window, I figured I would catch you guys up on all the transfers. So today is going to be only transfers, no match today. Uh, but just to get you guys caught up without going super long, and we'll keep it as short as we can. So taking a look, there's the end of season, of course, you saw last episode against FC Emmon. If you didn't, you should go check it out, especially the ending. And there was the run-in. So from what I recall, the last match here was against Satard on March 10th. And we really didn't cover anything up till the end of the season, which was May 5th. I'm just jotting down some dates down here so I can remember them without looking back at them. We go back to the end of last year, May 5th. What took place after that match? Well, you can see we had a few moves. Uh, Roy Vandahar, we, we let him go on a free. Contract was expiring. Uh, he did play a good bit for us, but uh, just, you know, he had been injured. He was kind of far down the pecking order, so we went ahead and let him go. Gabriel Needham, much of last season, was injured. Decent enough player, but we sell him for 98000 His value's gone up since we sold him. He was Canadian. He was always gone on international duty at odd times for our club. Uh, so he was actively trained in the Netherlands, but... We move him, and we finally moved Rowan Peters on to Napoli for $89,000, and that was at his value. Uh, so we didn't really lose any money on these guys. On the flip side, uh, we brought in, and I'm sure we talked about, no, we may not have. Johnny Doherty comes in from Den Haag, $115,000. Uh, he's a 24-year-old Dutch player, can play striker, uh, and can play on the wing. So there's a look at him. He's going to be depth, uh, and there was a reason that we brought him in. Mike Brower from Emmen, 235000 Left winger, we really needed to upgrade there so he could play on that left side. And there's a look at him. 22 years old, three-and-a-half star potential. Fabian Cohen. 225000 So we're well into the offseason now. So these are guys that are going to be coming in for the upcoming season. Uh, he came in. He was going to be a center back for us. Very big upgrade at center back. Lacks a little in stamina, but very solid on his defensive and jumping ability, pace, acceleration. Uh, definitely uh, going to be a contributing factor for us on the back line in the upcoming season. Theo Blondell, 250000 from Ustindi, and he is a striker and right winger. Kind of depth here, but he has started three of our reserve games. Uh, very good dribbler, very physical, really good mentals, four-star potential. So just trying to really upgrade a lot of the positions that we had moving into the Arita VC, the top level, we needed to do that. Uh, Bert Vanderwall cost 125000 from Vitesse. Uh, he is another player on the left side, so he'll be competing for that starting role. He can play mid-left, attacking mid-left, so he'll be at, uh, working against Brower on that side. Paul DeVries from Telstar for 350000 is a striker. Can also drop back into that number 10 if we go with the diamond formation. And good dribbling, finishing, so he's going to be a striker option for us as well. And this was a player we dropped a big chunk of change on. This was the splurge signing of the transfer window. $7 million for Guillaume Shia Tahul. Uh, he is a 26-year-old Dutch player. Four-star current, four-star potential, left side, new st new starter over there. No question he is going to be the guy that we're going to go with. Uh, three starts, a goal, two assists, and a 7.38 rating and a couple of friendlies this offseason. 
Uh, he did get injured. Uh, he will probably miss the start of the season. He's going to be out for a little while. And if we jump ahead to the, after the season officially flipped, uh, Rignald Van Elsma, uh, he goes off for 160000 uh, He was the young Curacowan uh, striker. Not quite as good at finishing, so we felt he was expendable, especially with some of the other upgrades that we got. We pick up 160000 for him. Noah Vandenberg, we get on a loan from our parent, our senior affiliate, uh, Sparta. And one of the interesting things about the Arita VC is you don't lose your senior partnership, uh, senior affiliate, just by being in the same level as them, because we are now in the Arita VC, same level as Sparta, uh, but we haven't lost that. So that's actually kind of good. And uh, he is a left back. <laughs> which was one of the positions that we noted we probably needed to upgrade this year. Edwin Snip cost us 60000 from Din Bosch. Oh, and by the way, somebody gave me, I forget who it was. I apologize, I can't give you credit, but it was, uh, you remember uh, The Hague in the very first episode we were looking at the area and there was that city called The Hague or The Hog. It's actually Den Hog. I have to go phonetically if I have no clue, and evidently in uh, in the Netherlands, Dutch, there is no phonetic pronunciation. So I know they're wrong, you know they're wrong, you know I know they're wrong, and I know you know they're wrong. Just keep on keeping on. Uh, anyway, Snip is another center back. Uh, again, I think he's a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, he probably will not start, but he might. He'll compete at least. But I think with the two players that we brought in at center back, we've really fortified the back line. And uh, then we paid $450,000 uh, about two weeks ago for Alez Nemeth from Willem II. And he is a right back. Uh, decent enough crossing. Lacks a little pace, but four-star potential, four-star uh, current ability, 22-year-old Hungarian, and uh, so that's going to be where he slots in. If we take a look at our team depth chart right now, if we break it down to only three stars, so we're looking at Viral and Goal. Uh, he still wants to leave, but we're going to force him to stay unless we get a really good offer for him. Uh, we have uh, Sabuni on the left, Nedib, Cohn, and Kook in the middle. Uh, Snip will factor in there as well. Uh, we have Cohn and Nemeth on the right. I think Nemeth's going to start out there. Cohn's going to slot into the middle with Neteb and then uh, Sabuni on the left. Uh, Shiotahol Sh and Brower on the left side. Uh, Wreckers and Katiov and Harms in the middle. Uh, Nemeth could slot up in here. But if we do go with Cohen in the middle, then I think we keep Wreckers in that defensive mid, and then uh, Mitchell Quazy and the newcomer Theo Blondell uh, battling it out on the right side. And then Paul DeVries slots in with McCowie up top. Blondell would be depth there. And that's it with our three stars. And then if we bring in our two stars as well, uh, Sayud, who did some did the business for us off the bench last year down the stretch when Varal was injured. Uh, we also bring in uh, uh, Banu, Taruda, uh, Snip. Uh, let's see. We've got a ton of center backs. Uh, De Bruyne comes back into the picture as a, off the bench. Uh, Fady Chelik. Uh, was unable to sell him, but he will be depth on the right side. Uh, we also have Yari Stonman and a few other guys in the middle there that you probably recognize from last season. Bert Vanderwall, the new player, and John Toll on the left. And then uh, Toll, Thibaut Martinez, and then uh, a couple of other guys, including uh, Stursix that uh, we had last year. So that's who we're going with right now. Finances, we've really cut into the money. Uh, we spent just about all of our original budget. Uh, we're three and a half million in the, in the hole here. And we are about, about 185,000 below the payroll cap. 
but I think that's as high as we're going to go. We, we only have uh, one other player that we're looking to maybe get rid of. Uh, there's a loan offer, and that's really it right now. We are up to match day. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back for the match. Quick look at the medical center. Uh, Fabian Cohn is out for three more weeks with a back strain, so that affects our back line. Shiotahol, our left side, he's out for three weeks. Nemeth, a gashed lower leg. Uh, he's going to come back tomorrow, but we are going to sit him today. John Toll, a couple of days out still with a pulled hamstring. And uh, Cooch and Taruta have just come back. Uh, Cooch is a fitness concern, and Taruta is suspended. So even though he was a part, uh, he was a sometime starter at that center back position. Not going to be available for us today. Uh, we're going to go with Devries, our newcomer, and McCowey, our leading scorer last year up top. Vanderwall on the left, Quazy on the right, Katarov and Kinnear in the mid. Vandenberg and De Bruyne at the wingbacks, Snip and Neteb in the center, and Varal in goal. And we're going to be going with the, uh, the tactic that we broke in late last season. Hopefully we can uh, see something good come of that, but we won't be a, a, you know, afraid to switch that around. We're opening up against NEC. I guess I should learn what those stand for, but... If that's what they're putting in the game, that's what their name is, right? We're in the blue and white. And, you know, I haven't even looked to see where we're supposed to finish this year. Good block by De Bruyne. I would guess it's towards the bottom. I know the board vision is just to fight against relegation. So hopefully we can do a little better than that and come in somewhere around mid-table. That would be... That would be the hope, I suppose. All right, controlled by Vandenberg. Oh, a nice little header. Oh, what a poke through. Vanderwall cuts in, and he takes a ping. That was a nice effort. Looks like DeVries had a good ball through there. ESV out to an early lead, it looks like. Right, let's demand a little more. Quasi, first highlight of the season for him. You really hate to see uh, when the ball drops in like that that nobody can get around on it. Katarov, there's a header and it's in. It's Paul DeVries, the newcomer with his debut, first goal of the season. Katarov, what a nice assist. That was a very nice move. I was kind of worried here when he was making that long run around. That was either going to get stolen or be a typical kick right into the defender's legs. But he gets a nice cross on it, and DeVries puts it home. We have got to be encouraged by that. We do have extended highlights on, so just a reminder uh, of the new things from last year. All the names are on. Uh, extended highlights and only one match per episode. So he should have been flat. Yeah, he hit his own player and he was in an offsides position. So that was nice. Good header out. Katarov comes back to get it. Beats Pedchik. Why? Why do you think he went for the slide tackle there? Oh, it's an own goal. We'll take it. We will take it. Barry Van Eich. Uh, yeah, Eich. I'm going to go with that. He scores an own goal. So uh, own goal is uh, up on the leaderboard, uh, tied for the club lead for goals this season. That was a uh, Leeds United joke last year that uh, own goal uh, had just as many goals as everybody on the club except for Patrick Bamford. All right, we're going to encourage them. 
And was he offsides? It doesn't look like it, and Edwin Snip is on the score sheet, and it's 3 0. Oh, goodness. Ah, I don't know. He might have been offsides there. But we'll take it. Four shots, four on target, three in the back of the net. And Snip goes for his second. And there's a save by Bransma. Another corner. We go at goal again, but that one's out on us, setting up a goal kick. We're looking pretty good here. Now, it'll be interesting after the match to jump into the season preview and see where we're supposed to finish and where NEC were slated to finish to really kind of get an idea of the talent level here. Oh, that's that's poor. Not good. Slow build up. They make short passes, chain it together to get up across midfield. That's a nice one. Do we have a counter in us here? Nice ball up to DeVries. Oh, he beats his man into the box. And he slots it home, his second of the match. What a run by Paul DeVries. That was a stellar run by him. If he can do that this season, I'm pretty excited. Uh, let's see. Looks like Quazy has taken a hit. Is it an injury? Injured but feels he can shake off. All right, so we'll let him keep going for a little while. Quazy on the ball. Oh, is he on sides? And he's got a debut hat trick. Paul DeVries, a four-minute double. First half hat trick. Wow. And we're up 5-0. You know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull Quazy. Quazy for Blondell. Let's get him on. DeVries, he's on the hat trick, yes? And he's already got the hat trick. Yes, three goals. So let's pull him off for Martinez. Wow, what a first half. I was not expecting this. That was incredible. Nine shots. Look at this. Nine shots, eight on target, and our XG is only 1.09. And yet we're up 5-0. How, how how have we not gotten any XG credit on that? That's that's astounding. Uh, let's see. Delighted with your performance so far. They make a couple of subs at the half. Oh, Kezer with a poor pass. All right, De Bruyne brings it up to midfield. And promptly loses it. Blondell's on it. He's looking to make an impact here. He took the shot and into the defender's leg. We do pull a corner out of it. Blondell's going to replace Quasi on the set pieces, it looks like. And boy, their keeper lumped that ball out. Really quick there. 13 corners already today. Uh, let's tell them to focus. Eh, okay. Maybe they weren't losing focus. All right. I want to see. All right. Vanderwall. What's up with Toll? Let's check him out. All right. So I don't want to do that. We can bring... You can bring Banu in out there. And Sabuni, can he play there? No. No, he can't. But De Bruyne could play there. Okay. So let's... Let's, 
let's cancel that. All right, let's go in again. All right, Vanderwall for he can play wing back. I don't. Do we have an attacking mid left? I have two attacking mid rights. Blondell. So you know what? Let's play. Let's play Stursix out there. Let's do that. We can bring De Bruyne up here, and then we can bring a new. Okay, no. We can only make three. So we're going to hold off on subs. I get my leagues confused. I'm thinking the... the Ah! Uh, Hoogdorp. His first goal of the season. Varau got the save, but couldn't hold on to it. Good header. He got it. He got the hand on it, but... Two players right there by Natev. Natev couldn't get the clearance. All right, let's encourage him. De Bruyne throws it in. Oh, right into the defender's legs. I hate that. I really hate that. All right, we're going to drop back to balanced just so we're not quite running as much. And you know what? There is a tired guy on the pitch. Vanderwall. Let's bring Banu in for him. I think he can do the job up there. He can play attacking mid. Yes. All right. There's our sub. 74th minute. Does he give the advantage? And if he does, will they come back? I doubt it. Oh, Banu takes a shot, sets up a corner. Still holding on to that 5-1 margin. Would have been nice to get a clean sheet, but not to be. All right, they've got a breakaway. Two on one. What a stab by De Bruyne. Very powerful. Liking that. There's a lot of names on the pitch. <laughs> oh, Blondell beats his man with the ball. And it gets poked away. Darn it. I'm looking forward to seeing if Martinez can do anything. Of course, I was planning to start Martinez, but the arrival of DeVries kind of put that on the shelf. Because I, I definitely think DeVries is much better than Martinez. I think Martinez could have done a job, but oh, what a finish. And he shows why I think so highly of him. His first goal of the season gets back to the five-goal margin. What a finish to slot across the face of the keeper. We are looking really good. I, I'm, I'm concerned... I'm concerned that this is overreaction, that NEC just isn't very good. And we'll find the answer out to that in just a minute because, oh, look at that cross, and Blondell could not find the goal. Oh, I think that should have been in the back of the net. Final minute. Near post, knocked out. Aiden's going to get to it and be on a run again. Katarov and Snip do a good job getting back. Oh, there's a good stab at the ball again. The defenses look pretty solid. Knock on wood. And there is the end of the match. The final whistle goes off. Oh, their coach ignored me. He turned his back on me. I'm a little uh, perturbed by that. Paul DeVries. A hat trick and only 8.9. Wow. Nobody gave us a chance, and we dominated that match. That puts us top of the table on goal differential. Nothing wrong with that. All right, Quasi's out for about a week. 
So probably did the right thing pulling him off. DeVries, a debut hat trick. I don't think I've ever had a better debut in my history of football manager. All right, let's jump in here. I want to look at the season preview. All right, any C's lower half of the table. Now, we were 1,000 to 1, Emin 400 to 1 to go down. Satard finished third behind both of us, and they're picked to be the best finisher. Any C, though, 150 to 1, and we just crushed them. So it'll be interesting. Now, we played FC 20 last year. We did lose. But it'll be interesting to see how we compete with, you know, Feyenoord, Venlo, Utrecht, Breda. Those are the clubs that I'm really looking forward to playing to see how we match up. If we can pull points there, then I think we stay up pretty, pretty easily. If we struggle in those matches, we're going to get blown off the pitch in these matches. And it's going to be... It's going to be ugly. Uh, let's see. Who gets relegated? Three relegations, just like the Champions League. I mean, no, the Premier League. Okay, so that's that's fine. You still get $5 million for finishing at the bottom, which will set us up for next year to hopefully rebound if we need to. And you need to finish in seventh or higher to get qualification for any European spots. Okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with that start, guys. On the road, 6-1 win. We'll take it. Uh, let's come back for PSV and Willem are both, or Willem are both top tier. Sitard, we've already played last season. Gronigan or Beretta? Let's come back for Gronigan. Their upper, their their upper half, top six, that'll give us a better idea against of how we should fare against those top sides, and then we'll also have a handful, you know, a, a trio of games, and then a couple of other top side games. So, ooh, stress time, stress time. What a win! Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for dropping in, and we will see you for the next episode of this save in two days. Don't forget the other journeyman save. That'll be up tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.